The Fairphone Gen 6 is a whole new smartphone experience that is even more sustainable and modular than our previous products. It wouldn't really be a fair phone if it wasn't now, would it? Just like our older Fairphone models, the Fairphone gives you the power to open it up and replace parts within minutes in the comfort of your own home. But before you get started, here are some things to keep in mind. Find an even, level and clean surface to work on with a good light source so you don't miss anything. Make sure to switch off your phone. We recommend keeping a few things handy. A cloth to clean the surface of your phone. Two small containers to divide and keep all the small screws in place. A credit card, guitar pick, or other similar piece of plastic to help with removing parts. And a Torx T5 screwdriver, which you can find in our web shop. A word of caution. Please don't use any metal objects other than the screwdriver when working on the phone. You can easily get the job done with just your fingers and the card, pick, or the plastic piece we mentioned earlier. This will also protect the internal parts from unwanted damage. Watch this video from beginning to end before getting to work. This will help you get a clear idea of all the different steps involved in the process. You can then play the video again to follow the steps one by one. Got all that? Okay, here we go. In this video, we're gonna take you through all the steps to replace your display. So let's get right into it. Any replacement work on the Fairphone begins with taking these two screws on the top of the lower back cover off. Like we mentioned earlier, make sure the phone is switched off by pressing the power button and volume button. Depending on your settings, you might have to long press the power button to access the power menu. Here's a quick tip. It's easy to confuse the outer screws with the inner screws when disassembling and reassembling the device. The main difference is the length of the screws. The longer screws go on the outside, the shorter ones stay on the inside. We start by unscrewing the two screws on the lower back cover and sliding the lower back cover off towards the bottom. Now, keeping the phone with the screen facing down, you need to start removing the five screws around the battery. There are two on each side of this metal sheet covering the battery and one up top in the middle, right here on the connector cover. Make sure to keep all the screws safely in a separate container. Now that the screws are out, you can slowly lift the connector cover on the top, disconnect the board to board or B2B connector underneath, and remove the battery, like so. Next, we have to remove the upper back cover by undoing the plastic hooks locking it in. You should ideally do this with a plastic card or pick to avoid any unwanted damage to the back cover. Now, this is important. Please make sure to start from the bottom left, then the bottom right, and work your way upwards on both sides. And there you go. You will find eight screws holding your display in place. They are the silver screws that are positioned on the frame of the phone. They are easy to confuse with the screws holding the loudspeaker and the antenna in place. So just make sure you focus on the silver ones. All right, time to put your screwdriver to work. Once you have removed all the screws, you can flip the device over. The display should now be loose, but not completely detached. Move the display carefully to the side, and you should see a B2B connector connecting the display to the printed circuit board or PCB. There's a cover over the connector that's held in place by one more screw. This is the last screw, we promise. If you look carefully, it's a bit smaller than the other ones. Once you get that screw out, you can lift the cover out and disconnect the connector to release the display. Make a mental note of how the cover is oriented because you'll have to put it back in the exact same way. Now it's time to do it all in reverse. Get your new display, make sure there's no protective film that needs to be removed and connect it to the PCB. Make sure it's properly attached. You'll feel it click into place. Put the cover back exactly how it was oriented when you removed it and don't forget to screw it in. Make sure to use the right screw. Now, flip your device over and put the eight display screws back in their original place. Make sure to not go too tight with the screws as this might cause the display to bend a little bit and cause unnecessary issues later, like bubbles in your screen protector. Once the screws are back in place, again, not too tight, you can snap the upper back cover into place starting from the top. Then, put the battery back inside. 
reconnect it, make sure it clicks into place, cover it up, and put the five screws we took out here back in their original place as well. Finally, slide the lower back cover back onto the device. Make sure to place it higher up on the phone so it slides in easily, and re-screw our two main back cover screws. Now, all you have to do is switch on your device and see if everything works. And there you have it! You have just replaced the screen on your Fairphone. You just extended the life of your device all on your own.